Welcome back to Ray's Arithmetic. Now, Before we get started today, let me just say that I am so glad to be back in the saddle after all this time of being away since we did our last lesson, Lesson 42, because I've been busy doing four years of math courses for an online curriculum that is all based on Ray's Arithmetic. So that's what I've been busy with all this time, and now that I'm done with that big project, I'm back to doing raise arithmetic lessons for you so I hope you'll forgive my absence and and uh, we can just go right in and pick up where we left off with our multiplications because today we're going to be doing lesson number 43 so Roman numeral there XL that is 40 and then three I's add up to three so that's going to give us a Roman numeral value of 43 Okay, well today in lesson 43 we're going to be working with the number 5, so our multiplication problems are all going to be uh, about the number 5. You're going to see 5 in every one of these problems. So to get started and to kind of warm up, let's do some tables or a table of multiplications with the number 5 in them. So let's get started and see how good we are at these. So here's our first one. We always start with the easy one. First one is 5 times 1. Okay, how many how many are five times one? Let's put that down. Five, five times one, that's one five times, is going to give us an answer of what? It's going to give us an answer of five. Five times one are five. Okay, what about two times five? If we've got two times five, how many is that? All right, five two times. Two times five are ten. Now next we're going to do 5 times 2. We're going to take 2 5 times. Okay. You know how much that is? 5 times 2, well, that's going to be the same amount, isn't it? 2 times 5 or 10, 5 times 2 or 10. All right. So we get the same answer for both of those. Let's take a look at the next one, which is 3 times 5. You know how many 3 times 5 are? Let's see, 3 times 5, that's 5 3 times. That's going to give us an answer of 15. All right, good. Let's see if you know the next one. This is going to be 5 times 3. How much do we get when we multiply 3 5 times? 5 times 3, that's going to give us 15, isn't it? Yep, you probably saw that one coming. Okay, let's see what the next one's going to be. 4 times 5. Okay, you're starting to see a pattern. 4 times 5, okay, 4 times 5 is going to give us what? It's going to give us 20. Okay, what about 5 times 4? This time we're taking 4, multiplying it 5 times. That's going to give us an answer of what? Also 20. Okay, so 4 times 5 or 20, 5 times 4 or 20. Okay, let's continue on the other side of our board. Um, how about 5 times 5? How many are 5 times 5? 5 times 5 are 25. Okay. What about 5 times 6? How many are 5 times 6? Well, if you take 6 5 times, you get an answer of what? 30. Okay. What about 6 times 5? If we take 5 6 times, so 6 times 5, that's going to give us what? Well, that's going to give us 30. Okay, so if we just take those same two numbers, 5 and 6, and switch them around, switch the order, so the 6 comes first, we're still going to get the same product, aren't we? The same answer when we multiply 6 times 5. All right, so you see the pattern that we're seeing in the answers, right? Yeah, okay. That's what's nice about fives is you can see the patterns a little bit more easily perhaps than with some of the other numbers. Okay, let's look at, let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's try something with, hmm, we haven't done five and seven yet, have we? Okay, let's do five times seven. So five times seven are how many? That's gonna be 35. Okay, what about seven times five? Seven times five? going to give us the same answer, isn't it? Yep, okay. 7 times 5 or 35. Okay, what about 5 times 8? If 
you multiply 5 times 8, what do we get for an answer? We get 40. Okay, now, what do we get when we multiply 8 times 5? 5, 8 times. 8 times 5, that's going to be 40 as well, isn't it? Okay, let's do just a few more of these. Let's do 5 times 9. How many are 5 times 9? 9 5 times, that's going to give us what? 45. Okay, what about 9 times 5? Now we're taking 5, multiplying it 9 times. And that's going to give us 45. Same as 9 multiplied 5 times. Okay, let's see. What about 5 times 10? 5 times 10? That's going to give us an answer of what? 50. Okay, and then what about 10 times 5? 10 times 5 is going to give us 50 as well. Okay, so if we take 10 5 times, that's going to give us 50. We take 5 10 times, that's also going to give us 50. All right, so this is our table of multiplications for the number 5. Be a really good idea to memorize these because that's what you want to do with all of our numbers that we're going through one by one is to multiply your multiplication multiply to memorize your multiplication table for each one of these numbers. Now, if you happen to have the page printed out and in front of you that's got the lesson that we're working on today, that's lesson 43, you're going to see a table that looks just like this at the top of that page. Well, this is the table of the multiplications with the number 5 that we've just been working on. So a good way to help memorize these is to read through them and recite them over and over. We're just going to read through them once together right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to read through these fives just once out loud because that helps our memory as well. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and read these fives. Here we go. Ready? Okay. 5 times 1 are 5. 2 times 5 are 10. 5 times 2 are 10. 3 times 5 are 15. 5 times 3 are 15. 4 times 5 are 20. 5 times 4 are 20. 5 times 5 are 25. 5 times 6 are 30. 6 times 5 are 30. 5 times 7 are 35. 7 times 5 are 35. 5 times 8 are 40. 8 times 5 are 40. 5 times 9 are 45. 9 times 5 are 45. 5 times 10 are 50. 10 times 5 are 50. All right, so those are our multiplications for the number 5. Takes us up to 50 for the answer. So if you practice those a little bit each day for a few days, you'll see how before long you're going to know these by heart, just like all the other numbers that we're working on. Okay, well, you're ready to do some story problems, because we do have some story problems to go with these, and each of these has multiplication in it with the number 5. And we'll put those multiplications on the board here as we go through these. So. Here's our first story problem. We got Francis. Francis bought five tops at two cents each. How many cents did they cost? Okay, that's our problem. Francis bought five tops. You know what tops are? Those little spinning, spinning things. You spin them on the table or on the floor. Francis bought five tops at two cents each. How many cents did the tops cost? Okay, well that's our multiplication. That's going to be. Let's see if they're two cents each. We got five tops, so we're multiplying five times two, aren't we? Five times two cents is going to tell us how much those five tops cost, so those five tops cost us a total of how many cents? Ten cents. Okay, so that's our multiplication in this problem. Five times two cents are ten cents. Okay, ten cents is our answer. Let's look at our next problem. Let's go ahead and number these. This is going to be number one. So, story problem number two is this. If James can walk five miles in one hour, how many miles can he walk in three hours? 
If James can walk five miles in one hour, how many miles can James walk in three hours? Got any idea? Hmm. You say 15? Well, let's see. Well, let's see. We've got, we're multiplying what by what? We're multiplying, let's see, five miles in an hour, but we want to know how many miles he walks in three hours, so it's three times five. Three times five miles, three hours times five miles an hour, so he's going to be traveling. James is going to cover, what, 15 miles when he gets done walking. And he's going to be tired, too. But he covers 15 miles in those three hours. Okay. Number three. Here's our problem for number three. If one peach is worth five plums, how many plums are four peaches worth? If one peach is worth five plums, how many plums are four peaches worth? Let's see. So we're mul multiplying. we got five plums for a peach. How many plums are four peaches? That's going to be four times... That's going to be 4 times 5. Got 5 plums per peach, so 4 peaches is going to be 4 times 5 of those plums, which is going to be how many plums altogether? 20 plums, okay. That's a lot of plums, a lot of jam. You like plum jam? Have you ever had plum jam? I don't remember last time I had it, but it tastes like plums. Okay, let's see. Let's go to number 4 which is this. You get Lucy, who has five hens, and each hen has five chickens. How many chickens have all the hens? So that's our problem. Lucy has five hens, and each hen has five chickens. So, how many chickens do all the hens have? Okay, what do you think the answer is? Okay, well, five times five, that's our multiplication, isn't it? So, and that's how many chickens? 25 chickens, because 5 times 5 are 25. Okay, let's do another story problem. Okay, here we've got Francis, who finds six birds' nests, with five eggs in each bird's nest. How many eggs are there in all the nests? So Francis finds six birds' nests, with five eggs in each nest. How many eggs are there in all the nests? Okay, what are we going to multiply here? Probably going to multiply... 6 times 5, aren't we? Because we got 6 birds' nests, and each nest has 5 eggs in it, so that's going to be a total of how many eggs? 6 times 5 are 30. So 30 eggs altogether. Okay. Hope none of them fall out of the nest and drop and break, huh? Okay. Let's see. Daniel is our next contestant, and he bought 5 oranges at 7 cents each. So how much did Daniel pay for all those oranges? If he bought five oranges at seven cents each, how much did he pay for all that? Okay, if there's seven cents each and five oranges, so five times seven cents, that's going to tell us how much he paid for those oranges. Okay, what is five times seven? Five times seven are 35. So the answer is that Daniel pays 35 cents for the oranges. Okay, a couple more problems and we'll be done. In our next one, what would be the cost of eight kites at five cents a piece? Okay, if you want to buy some kites, it's a nice windy day, you got some friends who want to fly kites, so you buy eight kites at a cost of five cents each. So what's your cost going to be for all those kites? Well, what are you going to multiply to find out? I'd say you're going to multiply eight times five, huh? So eight times the five cents each for each kite, so those eight kites are going to cost how much? 40 cents. Yeah, because 8 times 5 are 40. Okay, very good. Let's look at our next problem, number 8. If 1 pound of flour cost 5 cents, what will 9 pounds cost? If 1 pound of flour cost 5 cents, how much would 9 pounds cost? What are you going to multiply to find out? 9 times 5. Okay, how many are 9 times 5? 9 times 5 is going to be 45. That's 45 what? 45 cents. So 9 pounds of flour at 5 cents each is going to cost 45 cents. Okay, one more problem to finish up. If one streetcar ticket cost 5 cents, what will 10 tickets cost? Streetcar, okay, that's one of those eh, like a, kind of like an electric bus sort of trolley car. 
Okay, if one of those tickets to ride that thing cost five cents, what will ten tickets cost? What are you going to multiply to find out? Ten times five. Yeah, okay, how much is ten times five? Ten times five are fifty cents. So those ten tickets are going to cost you fifty cents. Well, that will do it for lesson 43 in multiplication with the number 5. When we get together again in our next lesson, we're going to do 44, multiplying with the number 6. In the meantime, if you wanted to see about looking into a whole math course that's based on raised arithmetic, click on the link that's below this video on this page. And you can find out more about that. Okay, we'll see you here for next raised arithmetic lesson.